Hello, and welcome to the Unreal Engine 4 Complete Beginners course. In this course, you will be learning how to use what many consider to be the best game engine in the industry. For this introductory video, I will first give a quick history of the engine, then I will go over what will be covered in this course, and then I will show you the demo game that we will be creating in the tutorial videos for this course. So, the Unreal Engine has been used to create countless numbers of blockbuster games, including Bioshock, Gears of War, Splinter Cell, Rainbow Six, Borderlands, Dishonored, Mass Effect, and many, many more. The biggest disadvantage of the Unreal Engine was that, for most of its existence, it was too expensive for anyone but large companies and wealthy individuals. However, Epic Games, the makers of Unreal Engine, realized that because of this, there were huge numbers of budding game developers that were starting their game development lives, learning on, and getting used to competing engines. These other engines weren't as good as Unreal, but they were being offered for free in exchange for a percentage of any profits made from the games. So Epic Games decided to make a bold move and adopt a similar business model. So as of March 2015, the Unreal Engine is now completely free to download and use. The only stipulation is that if you create something on it and release it commercially, and it makes more than 3000 in a single quarter, meaning a quarter of a year, then you have to pay a 5% royalty to Epic Games for any sales above the 3000 so that's quite a good deal and it's quite a big deal because now for the first time ever the unreal engine is accessible to amateurs hobbyists and indie developers like you and i and not just the major game studios of the world so you've really picked a great time to begin your pursuit of game development had you started a couple of years ago you probably would have been tempted to start learning on a lesser engine just because it was free but now, there's no reason not to go ahead and go with the flagship of the industry. Alright, so let me give you a brief outline of the course. The course is divided into nine sections. The first section, Getting Started, will help you get the engine installed and will introduce you to some basic concepts. The second section will teach you about the level editor, which is used to create the environments for your games. The third section, Actors, will teach you about the various types of entities available in Unreal to help you craft your environments and your games. The fourth section, Blueprints, will cover Unreal's blueprint system, which is a way to script logic for your game without having to know code. In essence, blueprints are a way for you to tell the engine how your game should function and what its rules are. The fifth section will cover how to create playable characters for your game and how to set up input for them. The sixth section will cover collisions, including taking damage from enemies when colliding with them and damaging enemies that you fire a projectile at. The seventh section will cover user interfaces and show you how to create menus and HUDs for your game. The eighth section will cover audio, showing you how to add music and sound effects to your game. And then the final section will be used to cover any additional topics that don't fit into one of the previous categories. So by the end of the course, you should have a solid understanding of how the Unreal Engine works and how to develop games for it. Alright, so now let's take a look at the demo game. So the game has a first person character that can do things like walk, look around, and jump. So you will learn how to create these movements and how to map the input to both the keyboard and mouse and a gamepad. You will learn how to place and position objects, such as these blocks here, in order to create the environments that the player will play in. You will learn about things like collisions, damage, and HUDs, and how to combine that knowledge so that when the player collides with, with something harmful, you can visually see the player losing health. You will also learn how to handle player deaths, and how to create menus such as this game over menu. You will learn how to set up an item collection system, so that when the player runs into collectible items in the game, like this orb, it will disappear from the environment and be added to their inventory. You will learn how to create custom objects, such as these platforms here, and how to give them a simple animation. You will learn how to add audio to the game, such as this background music. And you will learn how to create enemies that move around, such as these fire spheres. OK, 
Okay, so if I reach the door at the end of the level, I will get a message informing me that I must collect all three orbs in order to open the door. So, let me look for the final orb. Okay, and now that I have the final orb, I can come back to this door, and now I'll be able to open it, walk through, and win the game. Alright, so by the end of the course, not only will you have made this game from scratch, but you will know exactly why you did everything, so that you will then be able to apply the knowledge to your own custom games. Alright, so again, welcome to the course, and I hope you find it fun and educational.